Hi, I am Arjun. Uh, in this session, we will see how to solve the problems on uh, bars, uh, uniform cross-sectional bar. Uh, the given mm. problem is, uh, for the bar loaded as shown in figure, determine the nodal displacement, stresses in each element and strains. They are given a uniform Young's modulus of 270 dpa and cross-sectional area of the bar is 500 mm square and the bar is loaded in compression with a load of 12 kN and the total length of the bar is 1000 mm. Okay, now we will see how to solve the problem using ANSYS. So, we'll initially we will go to preferences, we will select the type of analysis which is structural, click on OK, then go to preprocessor, element type, we need to select the type of element, click add, we will select link element, click on OK, now the element is selected, close this. Define real constants, define the cross sectional area for this, add, add, so whatever the link that we have created will come here, click on OK, now it will ask for cross sectional area, the cross sectional area of that element is 500 mm square, it is a uniform cross section, so uh, both, uh, both the elements will have same cross sectional area, click on OK, close it. Go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropy. So it has an Young's modulus of 270 GPA. So 270 into 10 power 3 Newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio of 0 0.3. So we'll define material property here. So then you can go to modeling, create. So let us create the model using nodes. So I'll go to nodes. Click on nodes in active coordinate system. So first we'll select node 1 and we'll take that node as reference. So this is x coordinate, y coordinate and z coordinate. So x distance for node 1 is 0. Click on apply. So now you can see node number 1 will be created here and it will take this particular node as a reference point. And I'll take node 2, node 2 and distance of node 2 is 1000 mm or uh, directly we can create only two nodes because there will be no load acting at that particular point or uh, we can split into three nodes so 500 mm each node 2 x distance is 500 click on apply and we will go to node 3 so node 3 total distance is 1000 mm so node 3 has been created now so once you create node we have to create element, go to elements, here since element properties are same you can directly go to auto number through nodes, pick node 1, node 2, click on apply and node 2, node 3, click on ok, now element 1 and element 2 are created. So since we have created a model using nodes you need not to mesh an object, so you can directly apply the loads, go to loads define loads, apply, structural, displacement, so we need to apply constraints to this particular element, so on nodes, I will select node 1, apply, so node 1 is fixed in all degrees of freedom, I will select all degrees of freedom, click on ok, you can see node 1 is constrained now, and in order to apply loads, go to force or moment, on nodes, select node 3 it is subjected to a compressive load of 12 kilo newton and the load is acting in x direction and select fx and the load is minus 12 kilo newton so minus 12,000 it will be applied in newtons minus 12,000 newton click on ok you can see now the load node 3 is loaded with minus 12 kilo newton and now you can solve the problem go to solution solve current load step, the load problem is solved, close this, in order to view the solution go to general post processor, ok, in order to view stresses and strains first we need to define element table, go to element table, define table, here we have to add, scroll down and select by sequence number here, ls, 
and the less one is for generating stress click on apply now it is the table is defined for obtaining stress similarly by sequence number lepl lepl1 this is for strain click on okay now stress and strain are defined you can go to list results nodal solution displacement vector sum you can find out we have three nodes you can find out nodal solution uh, this is a nodal displacement of node 1 because it is fixed it will be 0 for node 2 this is a nodal displacement for node 3 this is a nodal displacement and if you want to find out stresses and strains you can go to element table data you can select ls1 and lepl1 here so this is for element 1 because it is of uniform cross sectional area both the stresses and strain for both the elements will be same and if you want to note down the analytical solution you can refer to my blog link provided Thank you.